Bastila, you're alive! Finally things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? I see. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Taurus will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. You know, I had my doubts about this mission, but I figured the Jedi Council wouldn't put you in charge if you weren't prepared. But here you are, acting like a spoiled child. I see. It's true that I don't have much military experience. Perhaps I should not be so quick to judge. Very well, Karth. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. A vision? A vision of what? This is... Strange. Such visions are often a sign of force sensitivity. I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. The matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace. How can I help? I would like to know what happened after you crashed on Taurus. I'm curious as to what you and Karth were doing before we all joined forces. Yes, I realize that, of course. But surely there was more to it than a single search. I doubt there were flashing signs pointing you in my direction. Yet somehow you found me. You also avoided detection by the Sith, discovered I was a Vulcan prisoner, gained sponsorship for the race, and became the Taurus Swoop champion. That's quite a resume. Your modesty is admirable. But though others helped, you were the catalyst for these events. When you were chosen to join this mission, I doubt any of us expected this much from you. The Jedi could have done such things, of course, but only by drawing heavily upon the Force. The Force is in all of us. Though for most people, it's barely a measurable whisper. There are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider Force-sensitive. It's obvious to me that the Force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success. Though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't... Well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training. But as it is... I'm sorry. I've overstepped my authority. I'm speaking of things that are best left to the Jedi Council. For now, let's just accept the fact that you are gifted. Hopefully, between your abilities, my Jedi training, and the skills of our companions, we can find a way off this planet. Yes, what's on your mind?
I thought I said I don't want to talk about it anymore. Listen, sister, just because we're working together doesn't mean you get to go badger me with constant questions. Blast it if you aren't the most frustrating woman to talk to. Isn't there someone else you can harass for a little while? What, me? What did I do? You win. Look, I suppose I could use someone to talk to. I'm just not used to it, and I don't know why you're so interested. Here goes. When I think of all the men who betray us, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respect the most. Saul. So... You don't. I thought everyone did. But Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier, and I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. I, I argued with him and he got angry and he left. I never saw him again. Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. I mean, even when things looked to be at their worst, I just, I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I'm not gonna stop it. Could have stopped it all. I blame Saul, not myself. I was I was stupid and I ignored the danger. He nearly destroyed us all. No, I fought Saul for years now, and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. No, no, it's not. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go. Rundi Hadonga Kuhunga Bi Wana Kumbes Jink Palamul Tong Kimba Nakongek Tung Ting Tachun Kun Neg Muli Rabest Takum Justak Miki Grabal Mogo Kachi Chu Aitha Hadonga Tulpata Bonk Molia Gando Danago Chuchut Moga Shampumpa Bola Wana Chikni Bamuli slik mo poda na wanga kun bist muli rabest. Tong hai tuam jiji yumalith pa ang ninkotu. Tulbada bunk waliagando da nago chuchut. Kachi chu ay sa haudunga. Yumalith ka ninkotu. Chilo mulra de ne bobo. Unko kun iskang bamulara. Shag jikin lor chawa ta uma? Kava vulpa mulji gumana. 
Kin kun shachi king, ni king kun oba muli raji kun? Wama kun bes, chin palamuji. Tunira nu prata dunko, sercha domandoma? I'm here. What? Pudu, tu ni rama na praka donko tsercha, chupa panki. Back again? You're starting to bore me. I Off with you. I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. My name's Candorus Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. I've got a plan to escape Taris, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. You don't need to ally yourself with this person. We should move on while we can. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend, aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. Here's the deal. 
You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom built by Janice Nall. Just tell her Kandor is sent you and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Davik paid for the droid, but I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. He won't care how I come up with those codes. Normally I do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javiar's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock.
Forest just for fun. You know, a little jolt of the force to trip up some jerk who's ticking you off. I would never use the force for such petty and trivial revenge. The mere thought of it's preposterous. Ah, oh, come on. There's gotta be times when you thought about it. Don't be so stuck up. You can tell me. I am not stuck up. I merely have the years of training to give you the wisdom and understanding to see how childish such an act would be. Childish? Is that a crack about my age? You ain't much older than me, Miss High and Mighty. Just because you're some Jedi, doesn't mean you can be a prissy little... What the... Hey, that wasn't funny. I have no idea what you're talking about, Mission. Come now, we have to get going. Please, do try to be less clumsy in the future. How can I help? The surface of Terrace is covered with an urban skyscraper. Its glittering spires belie the decay that lies in its lower reaches, however. Beyond that, there is little else I can tell you. Then I suggest we move on. Welcome back. Are you in need of healing? You have the serum? Impossible! How did you get this? No, wait, I don't really want to know. Can... can I see it? The serum, I mean? I need to see if there is enough for me to analyze it so I can start producing it in mass quantities. Hmm, let me see... Yes, this is it! A cure for the rat ghoul disease! With this sample, I can make enough serum for everyone! The people of Terrace owe you a debt they can never repay. Please, take this small reward. It isn't much, but it's all I can afford. A few credits and two spare med packs. I'm sorry, but all my credits are spent trying to keep this medical facility operating. 
I can't spare any more. You truly have a noble and generous spirit. But you deserve something for your effort. I tell you what, I'll give you a discount whenever you shop at my store. It's the least I can do. That's very kind of you. We're just glad we're able to bring some relief to the suffering of these people. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Of course. Just step over here and I'll show you what I have in stock. My prices are very reasonable. Just what I need to keep this facility operating. You blew it! If you'd brought that rat ghoul serum to Zax, you would have made it worth your while. No, you had to go and do the honorable thing. You blew it! like all the rest. You will not see the truth. On the day of reckoning, you will suffer with the rest of the alien lovers. We should leave. This man may be deranged, but he could also make considerable trouble for us. The evil walks among us. The enemy is here. None of the Becks or Valkers come into the cantina anymore. I guess that's one good thing about the gang war. It's not so crowded in here. This gang war is getting out of hand. The Valkers aren't just attacking the hidden Becks anymore. They go after- Hey, I recognize you. You're the one who won the swoop race. You better be careful out here. Those damn Valkers will be looking to get even with you for winning that race and killing Brezhik. getting off this planet unless we work together. But we've got a small problem. I haven't heard about anyone breaking into the military base yet, so I know you don't have those departure codes. If you want me to help you, you've got to bring something to the table. So until you get those codes, we really don't have much to talk about.
Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom built by Janice Nall. Just tell her Kander is sent you and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Normally... Glad to hear it. I'll be waiting right here. Hachu apanki, jishawa anibong ka sha chona si ichua byong bo joni minamamato. Moka o danya foki, chachiska to punta ka kaspaka, bano oto. Tinku ukapa, to pano aska, chinisko ne akava abaka. Hachu a punky, G. Run.
I'm here. Look at this! A re if time! talking about the mysterious stranger. You gonna fight Twitch soon? I'd love to see that crazy psycho get what's coming to him. Psst. 
Twitch is my favorite. He's wild. You're good, stranger. Maybe even as good as Bendak in his prime. There's no shame in losing to you. But when you beat me, you made me realize something, kid. First, it was just Twitch I couldn't handle. Now it's you and Twitch. Pretty soon, there'll be another young hotshot clawing past me in the rankings. This game's been good to me, but my time is done. I need to get away from the duel rings for a while, think things over. Goodbye, stranger. I wish you all the best. I've never been one to shy away from the cold, hard truth. So I'll just come round. You're good. Very good. Lady, hold on to your seats and stay back from the edges of the ring. He's wild, he's unpredictable, he's borderline psychotic. And he's the best damn duelist in the game today. Give it up! But Twitch's opponent plans to take the champion down. Night after night, battle after battle, we've watched this young phenom rise to the ranks. In this corner, the challenger for the title of Taris Dueling Champion, the Mysterious Stranger. Starkiller retired. I'd like to see you take him on. Hey, you're one of the duelists. The one they call the mysterious stranger. Sure, I know you. I like your style, stranger. You're the best thing the duel ring's seen since Bendix Starkiller retired. Wow, you're the new champ. Congratulations, I guess. You know, when you started out, I actually thought I'd be able to crawl up from my last place ranking for a while. Shows what I know. Enjoy your time at the top, stranger. Sooner or later, someone will come along to knock you down here with the rest of us grinders. First I go down to an injury. Now it looks like Marl's been dropped by old age. No room in this game for the veterans anymore, I guess. But don't get cocky, kid. One day it'll happen to you, too. Time catches up to us all, sooner or later. Well, everyone except Bendix Starkiller. I've never been one to shut. Oh, good. Very good. But you're wrong if you think that means I'm suddenly going to warm up to you. Truth is...
Kavadumpa kapalia monapata, bona nakachu, yin kin kun no ba mule rachi kun, tong na bun shanu yang. Kipuna na bon sha, kavadumpa kupalia ya mokarpata. Kakin cha na kwat na bon kon, wana kumbes chi pala mulek tongki pa na nonek, tu nik ton chu chun ke nemolek rabest uf mala ni bokurk. Mana 
من حتی تا حکوچی کرالا بولجی چاک شون تن شون کیپ اون پنک مولی ری کن کیلی کن کیلی نو با و تیمون یالا کن اونا کن مولی را بونا نا کچو کیچا بادوان وانگا کم کیبا بو مولی را ککین چاک نوا گاوا بکان Tonk ki ba nu kunek, tonga bok sha um nak nong.
come here. Thank you. 
It pains me to see that an alien lover such as yourself... What? Hear that? You... Stranger! And now, 
to the moment we've all been waiting for. Let the death match begin!